right after we learn about tripods and why we all need one, we discover their limitations, like how many places you can't use a tripod because of the tripod police, or just the size and challenging portability of a tripod. Of course, the Platypod Ultra and the Platypod Max are way more portable and durable, not to mention tripod police friendly, but they're incredibly versatile because of all the places they fit or how low they can go. That's why Platypods are such a hit. And in just the next few minutes, we're going to show you how to make your treasured Platypod even more versatile with each of the items that make up the new Platypod Multi Accessory Kit. This kit comes with a 36 inch cinch strap, a 3 inch spigot adapter, a grippy rubber pad, a carabiner, a drawstring pouch, and best of all, Platypod's new Multi Accessory Kit comes with this ARCA compatible quick release disc. When it comes to tripod ball heads, from entry-level models of most any brand to top-of-the-line high-end, super expensive ones, the single most popular quick-release system is ARCA-compatible ball heads and plates. And there are hundreds of plates and L-brackets that all have this groove set up, so any ARCA-compatible ball head can clamp onto any ARCA-compatible plate or bracket and those screw into your camera with an Allen wrench or some have those annoying little D-rings. Look at how this new design beats what you're used to. First, because of the shape of the plate and the fact that the steel quarter 20 screw is permanently fixed in place, you can just use your fingers to screw the plate onto your camera and it's every bit as sturdy as any D-ring would let you do with those old school plates by hand. Plus, it doesn't hurt your fingers like those D-rings can. Additionally, the round plate design allows you to point your camera in the right direction right before you tighten the clamp, and that's without using the pan function of your ball head. The round plate is also a 3 8 inch adapter and mini riser. That means you can screw it on top of a tripod with no ball head, or maybe screw it onto your platypod, and then you can attach anything from a camera to various accessories like goosenecks or these Lytra lights. The quarter 20 bolt and the 3 8 inch threaded socket are a single piece of steel, and steel gives you a much more reliable attachment than aluminum mounts from other manufacturers. One last thing we're not used to seeing on an ARCA compatible mounting plate is a bubble level. To maximize your precision, you just look down through the level and line up the pinhole opening at the bottom of the level as you're looking through it. Have a look at this 3 inch spigot adapter. It's the perfect size and shape for all kinds of traditional photo gear, and specifically lighting mono lights and light panels. It looks like the end of a light stand pole, and it's got a 3 8 inch socket mount on one end and a quarter 20 female on the other. You can easily mount it on a platypod and then use the countersunk mounting holes on either platypod to screw your platypod into the ceiling or a wall then you can mount your gear right on that spigot adapter. And if you want to, you can use the quarter 20 cross nut screw that came with your Platypod Max or your goosenecks, and you can mount even more things on top of the spigot adapter. The Platypod Ultra comes with a 20 inch cinch strap for securing it to things like handrails or a bench, but if you want to use the strap around something bigger, like a tree or a telephone pole, you want to use the 36 inch cinch strap from the new Multi Accessory Kit. Now these straps are pretty straightforward, but I will give you a couple of tips to help you remember and make mounting even easier and more reliable. First, keep the black side of the Velcro facing out and the red surface touching the tree or pole. Then, for a simple setup, just thread the strap through both metal rings and pull it back to connect the Velcro where the Platypod logo is with some other part of the black Velcro. If you want a little more added safety, maybe if you're mounting a pretty heavy rig on the strap, start by going through both rings and then loop back over just the first ring and under the second one. Now the Velcro and the metal ring tension are securing the grip. Black on the outside and then over and under with the double rings. If you're using a Platypod Ultra just before you really cinch the strap tight, you can use the openings on either side of the plate and hang your platypod on the strap. Of course, if you're using a strap with the platypod max, you'll need to thread the strap through both those loops before strapping it onto a pole. And here's a bonus tip. 
With either platypod strapped to just about anything, if you've done your best to get that strap really tight, but you want just a little more security, screw in one of the spiked feet to the front center or those two front outer threaded holes of your platypod. Not only will the spiked feet hold the extra weight a little bit, it can push against the mounting surface and that counter pressure can add even more tension to the strap. There's more to the new multi-accessory kit too. You get a four inch by six inch grippy rubber pad so you can put your Platypod Max or Platypod Ultra on things like a dashboard or a car hood or the roof of your car or the desk without worrying about scooting it around or scratching anything up. There's a carabiner so that you can clip your Platypod on a belt loop or a backpack for easy travel. And there's this drawstring pouch so you can keep it all together. Platypods are a fantastic, versatile, portable tripod innovation that helps photographers in ways most of us never imagined. And now that you know about the new multi-accessory kit featuring the ARCA compatible disc, you can make your platypod even more versatile than ever before.